In this 3 minute game review, we're looking at The King's Dilemma Chronicles. So hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. The King's Dilemma is a story driven political simulator with elements of resource management adapted from the board game of the same name. You play as an advisor to the king, making key decisions when it comes to matters of politics, the military, the people, and strange happenings around your kingdom and neighbours. The King's Dilemma has some of the best art we've seen so far this year. Nearly every one of the game's hundreds of story events has its own unique hand-drawn illustrations. The game is not voiced and there is plenty of text to read, but the immersive ambient sounds and beautifully composed soundtrack more than makes up for it. The King's Dilemma Chronicles may seem like a simple and straightforward text-based political simulator, but beneath its beautiful art and illustrations, lie several extremely complex gameplay systems. You start off by picking a great house that has its own pros and cons as well as its own special objectives. Advising the king on making key military, civilian, political and sometimes supernatural decisions. Every key decision is decided with a vote between the key great houses, and if the majority of votes go against your advice, you have to spend either power points or gold to corrupt and sway the opinions of the other great houses. On top of that, every decision not only affects your relations with the other houses, but also the state of the kingdom's resources like influence, wealth, morale, welfare and knowledge. Unlike most other games, more is not necessarily better as having too much of an imbalance of resources could lead to either the death, overthrow or abdication of this current king's reign. The turns progress with the reign of each new king, and every new reign not only allows you to make new story decisions and access new events, but it also allows you to pick a new type of ruling style which affords you bonus resources in building important structures and bolstering relationships in order to strengthen your position before the final inevitable doomsday event, as prophesied at the beginning of the game. The trick is having to balance making the right decisions either morally or practically, whilst still having to keep an eye on your resources while making new friends and enemies from both outside and within your kingdom. It's obvious by now that the magnum opus of the King's Dilemma is its story. There are six main story threads in the game and each story thread has a plentiful amount of meaningful decisions that can drastically change and affect where the stories go and how the game ends. Completing all six story threads, regardless of outcome, will lead to the game's finale. The King's Dilemma is clearly an ambitious, story-driven political simulator, and despite its extremely complex and somewhat convoluted gameplay systems, eventually became a very enjoyable and replayable experience. However, these complex systems will probably take a couple of hours to understand, even for seasoned players of the genre. Not to mention, I found the tutorials and tooltips to be sorely lacking, especially when it comes to actually making sense of how each of the individual systems work together in the culmination of the game's final scenes. As such, I would only recommend The King's Dilemma Chronicles to players who don't mind lots of reading and taking some time to learn complex gameplay systems in order to experience a great branching story experience. If you're craving for more interactive, story-driven games, check out our other videos. Otherwise, like and subscribe for more 3-minute game reviews.